I can't even begin to tell you how happy and excited I am to be at the airfield today to share this experience with you guys. I've got myself a JJRC VTOL. This thing should be awesome and I, I think that because I'm comparing it to something we did a few months ago with the XK brand, but a very similar model. So uh, normally this time of the year, if this were any other year that we've ever flown planes, it'd be cold, windy, and brutal. But today we're in the mid 50s with just a light three mile an hour breeze and I think that's awesome. So I don't care if this thing falls out of the sky like a rock, I'm still gonna be pretty happy, but I really want to bring something to you guys that you're gonna like. This is a VTOL airplane, vertical takeoff, or landing. <laughs> Sometimes I get the acronym wrong. Uh, ver vertical takeoff or landing. It also flies like an airplane. The interesting thing here, first of all, it's ready to fly. You get a pretty nice radio. This is a different version than the XK radio. It looks just as nice in my opinion. Uh, nice flight battery, which is a 3S LiPo. Very cool. It's going to be punchy with an XT30 plug on it, so a nice universal battery connector. You're not getting a proprietary battery with this or anything. And then brushless motors. The brushless motors are great. They did a wonderful job on the XK, and I love the lights are a little different. They're seated behind these little semi-transparent, Like you know, black plates. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we got them on the bottom too. Now this thing, when it was the XK version, just made me probably the happiest I'd been all year up until that point. So I'm really excited to fly this one because I'll be honest with you, Abby and I were extremely rough on the other one that we had. Yeah, we have another one. We did order a second one like I said we would, uh, but we were so rough on the first one. Between she and I both, we'd bring it up to the airfield just for fun. We crashed it so much that we ended up selling it basically as parts to a fellow RC club member for like 10 bucks. So I'm excited to have another one back in the fleet. Now this was noticed at the airfield in the moment and I want to be completely transparent with you guys. My One of my two servos here at the bottom, these that control the ailerons or flapperons or elevons, <laughs> I don't know what they'd be considered on this thing, uh, this one was not glued in place. I really should take this back home and hot glue it, but I'm hoping my tape job will be enough to hold it in place because it's not gonna get tugged on hard or anything and it's the back of it that was unglued. It has a dab of glue in the front. If you buy this, give it a quick check over before you fly. Just pull on your servos just a hair. If it's loose, it'll come undone. And then the little stickers that are covering up the wires are coming loose. Little things, I'd just take these stupid rainbow stickers off and put some tape over there or something. Um, yeah, I just want to fly this. This thing, I hope it's just as much fun as the XK version. But that's where our channel comes in handy for you guys. When we do cover something like this and the XK, at the end of the day, we can tell you which one is best. And that's what's going to be important here. So let's go fly. If this performs well, I'll show you guys at the end all the controls. That's what I did on the last one. The control setup's a little different. You talk like that was like two months ago, but you realize it was almost two years ago, right? Was it that long? Yes. Oh my I gosh. told you in the car I was prego wow. when we did it. There's an unlock button, so I'm gonna hold that, and it unlocks the motors for just briefly. Okay, that's how long they stayed unlocked. So I'm gonna give it throttle. Here we go, Abby. You ready? Yes. I was born ready. There we go. I had to go like full throttle up for that to take off. First of all, I think this is amazing. No, the gimbals on the controller feel like loose. They just feel, they're, they're not tight set up. When I say gimbals, I mean how this, uh, this just feels the really stick. loose. Yeah, yeah. The stick. So, okay, it, it looks great. That's altitude hold, just doing its own thing. I can do some yaw stuff, which is cool. <laughs> I love these things. They are, uh, they are amazing. Now this one should do something a little different than what you see the major name brand version of this doing. Abby wants me to take it up. I want you guys to see the little servos at the motors on the side of the craft. Abby, if you can zoom in on that, I'll try to show them. As I yaw, you can see those motors pitching forward and back because there are servos on that. Now the rear motor, the one in the back, has no servos. It's just gonna turn on and off in variable speeds. Okay, so we can fly this around like a drone, which is really nice and cool and fun. Oh, above the tree line, okay. Very cool, right? Cruising along this, the controls of this feel just like a drone. If you've ever flown any altitude hold drone before, that's what we're dealing with here. It looks awesome. It is amazing. It's very cool and a lot of fun. We have rates too, so we can increase those speeds, but we're doing okay. All right, now I should be able to throw this switch and it's gonna go into what they're calling 6G mode. I'm assuming that's gonna be airplane mode, so we'll gain some altitude, throw it in, 
it, it starts moving forward on its own and then it transforms into airplane mode. So now all I'm using is the right stick to push left and right. And uh, that is we, quiet as a plane. Super quiet, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? I'll, I'll try to get really close on these next two passes and I won't say anything. I want you guys to hear how quiet it is. Basically, non-existent. I'll get really close. So that rear motor turns off and just the two forward motors pitch, pitch forward. And here we go. Shh. How quiet is that? Oh, so cool. Okay, so as I was saying, you, I'm currently just using the right stick to bank left and right. It has basically what you would consider like safe flight mode on. It won't let you roll over or anything in this mode. And uh, it flies just like an airplane. So you pull back on the right stick and we should gain some altitude, yeah. And same goes with pushing forward. And then <clears throat> you give it throttle, it'll fly faster. So let's do a fast flyby on this next one. Abby, get ready. I want to be going pretty quick here. I'm cruising at like 40% throttle here right now. So here's full throttle. She's fast. <laughs> nice and fast. Those brushless motors with a 3S pack really gets you cooking. Okay, now here's the coolest part. This next one is V mode, all right? And with the throw of a switch, we should be able to just go vertical unless our tape doesn't hold. So let's see here. I'm gonna go three, two, one. Are you ready? Kapow! Yeah, so those two motors on the front shift their direction and uh, it just has an amazing altitude hold mode here that keeps that aircraft vertical. So we're looking at like a spaceship here now and those two, I don't know if you'd call them ailerons, elevons, or flapperons. I don't think they'd be flapperons because that's mixed in with like, that's using your flaps. Uh, those are used now to control rotation you can see and to help us stay, stay stable the bottom prop you guys can probably see is completely turned off i mean this vehicle having these three flight modes just blows my mind and makes me so happy check this out we can let's see if we can touch the tail down to our mat it's not really designed to land this way uh where the xk one was you remember we could do our vertical take it's right, supposed wasn't to be, it? yeah it's supposed to be able to land this oh, way oh no 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 Oh, motors! <laughs> Unlock the motors. Let's hope everything's still working. I think it will be. We want to go throttle up here quickly as soon as we unlock them. Throttle up. All right, we're good. We're good. Everything is good. Now, I do like to do this. Let's see if we can snap right into vertical. You ready? Yeah. So we're going to switch the middle position and go vertical. <laughs> that back prop stops spinning really slowly. Man, that's just awesome. Okay, so what I was trying to do was just touch that tail down. I didn't really want to completely land, but Abby had me encouraged to do so. Here we go, touch. Oh no, I mean, so it is a, a vertical motor lock button. There we go. A vertical takeoff and land. So or or land. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it can't really land vertical, huh? Well, here I'll show you. Can you, you how take can, off vertical? I'll show you how you can land vertical. Here you go. So there's takeoff vertical. Here's land vertical. This is a VTOL craft. That's it's, not vertical, that's horizontal. It is horizontal. taking off and landing vertically as that is straight <laughs> the motors, in the air. The motors it's are vertical. It's not orientation of the craft. It is, it, that How is a vertical takeoff. I see, okay. Yeah. So this is just an extreme vertical stunt mode. You know, that's, that's all right. So this was one of my favorite things to do with the other. Just kind of do some awesome rotations and then do a little blast off. Very cool. So don't try to land it vertically like we were with the with the craft actually vertical. So from this mode to level, now we're back into airplane mode. Now there's one thing we haven't even talked about. We can turn all these flight stabilization things off with the flip of a, well, it's a button on this one. So the top right, there's a button that says 3D 6G. We're going to take the 6G auto stabilization off now. And I have total control of the craft. Uh, just like any normal like four channel airplane. So let's see if we can level this out and then do some rolls. Oh yeah, very nice. We should be able to do some loops too. Pretty sweet. <laughs> it's got a lot more control uh, than a normal Stick airplane. Stick on this would. side of the field, other side Nate. Easier said than done. It's very bright over there. Easier said than done, I'm going back. Okay, let's get onto the left side of the field. Get out of the sun so Abby can actually see her screen. And... Nice little flyby, and then I'm going to turn the stabilization off. We can do some cool stuff. 
and then I'll turn it back on. <laughs> Come on, little guy. It's vertical. It's upside down. You see that? Yeah. Wow, there we go. It leveled back out. Whoa. I did some wild stuff with the uh, differential thrust, and that was not quite as snappy to get back into it as the Ultrix, but still really awesome. Let's do a nice wide turn. I wonder if we go to high rates. Yeah, there we go. We can do some wider turns. So there's a high, low rate button, which is awesome. I wonder if that will affect our flight mode with the uh, stabilization off. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's off. Woo! Let's do a cool loop. <laughs> that is sweet. That is awesome. Let's full throttle and do some rolling stuff. And can we get into some... Yeah, weird, wild stuff. Oh, auto level back on just oh in gosh. time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a nice calm day. This thing is crazy. Now, what if I cannot remember what it does if we go back into like hover mode? So now we're back into drone mode, right? Mm -hmm. And can I turn off like stabilization? We're in high rates, so it can really cruise along. Let's see. We're in high rates. 3D, 6G. Doesn't do anything in this one. Yeah, that makes sense. But we are in a higher rate, so we can still cruise. This is drone mode. You can, you're flying it just like a drone, but it looks like an airplane. Love this thing. Uh, do you want to fly some? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I've taken a lot of flight time. <laughs> All right. This is a wild machine. I hope you still have some good fun flight time. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Abby's at the controls. And then throttle up quick, and there you go. These things are so much fun. This one, to me, oh, no. you're all right. It just catch you off guard. <laughs> I had to figure out how to fly it for a second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Airplane mode. So this is all on the right stick? Yeah, pretty much. You need a little more throttle, I think, because okay. you're yeah, stalling. Nose. The nose is going up a lot, huh? There you go, you're back, you're back. You can kind of harrier it with throttle down. That, yeah. There you go. Good job. Oh, you're losing it though. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. Little Octo. Hold the lock button down there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I flip it back up to drain mode without having to go get it? Do the flip your switch all the way up. Unlock and then vertical takeoff. Nope, something's messed up. Yeah, okay. The motors are pointed all the way down. Okay. Well, that wasn't any good. The motors aren't pointing the direction they should be pointed. <laughs> and I broke both of the props. Comes with spare props though, thankfully. <clears throat> Just, it's okay. Crashes happen. <laughs> I can switch out the props, no problem. And the servos are actually really cheap. But yeah, it's not super durable. No, that wasn't even a bad crash. Yeah, okay. It needs a better like emergency stop as soon as it detects yeah, something. Yeah, I agree with that. Kick those motors off, but I, th I think it still would have stripped those servos. Hey, it's okay. I've been doing so good lately. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it always happens. The plane crashes tend to happen in threes. You know, things happen in threes. So I crashed the Altrix the other day. Completely Nathan's fault pushing me. It wasn't on camera. Uh, what did I do on that? Servo Snapped came Snapped a servo horn. Snapped a servo horn. There you go. And now this. And then the crashes are progressively getting worse. So maybe my next crash will catch on camera. And it's probably going to be epic. But that's what happens in this hobby. Crashes happen. So... Poor See, guy. it's not supposed to do actual straight up and down takeoff. Oh. We'll fix it. <clears throat> we'll get it back in the air. Well, a crash like that can be very discouraging. I took a minute and went ahead and replaced the props that got snapped. Uh, that was easy. I do think that these servos are stripped. They just didn't sound good at all. Um, here, I'll show you guys one more time. I just think the durability of this one isn't quite there. Abby didn't crash that bad. And I've, I've crashed my things 10 times worse than that. Um, it didn't hit that hard. So I just want you guys to hear what it's doing. So we're all on the same page. I'm not, we're not hiding anything or whatever. 
I actually like these. They're a lot of fun. They're just, I guess, delicate, you know, in comparison to uh, something else on the market. Throttle up and down. If we try to unlock the motors, it'll spin. But you notice <laughs> we're not all vertical here. We got a lot of play in that. Now we could tighten that up, of course, but listen to when I try to switch the mode. Okay, that's on both sides. <clears throat> both of these little servos here. You can hear I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. It just stripped them out really bad. And uh, whenever you're diagnosing something like this, be very careful. You don't want to start the motors and get hurt. But that's what happened there. I could probably tighten this up a bit, replace these motors on the side or uh, servos on the side and get it back in the air no problem. I guess just if you pick one of these up, at least this brand especially, know that it's very delicate and uh, you're gonna need to be fairly confident and fly two mistakes high and hey, if it goes down, there's more to break on here, obviously, <laughs> than like a normal airplane or a, a race drone or something. That's and a bit more you're welcome, Abby, the durability tester. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty sad looking, Nathan. I know. It makes me sad to have a result like this because the XK version, now we crashed it a bunch and it, it eventually did do about the same thing. It ended up being about the same results, but its durability <coughs> up here on the front end was much higher. And it's getting pretty rare these days for me and Abby to show you uh, a, a hobby grade, so brushless motors, two to three S power, Pretty nice hobby grade radio, really, uh, although it's just a simple one. And I have issues. Most of the time when this much effort is put into something, it's, it's pretty awesome. And I'll admit, the first part of this video, it was awesome. But we all crash. And for someone as experienced as myself or Abby, because I did crash it too, twice, you know, and maybe that weakened it. So when your crash hit. Yeah, that's what it was. It's all your fault. It's just like loosening a jar lid, right? Yeah. I loosened it. Yeah, <laughs> and it just decided to give out on me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it should be able to hold up to a little more than that. But both Abby and myself, although we, we call Abby a beginner, she's got a lot of flights on her belt. You know, to have that kind of an issue, and she was just flipping the, what, you were in airplane mode? And just trying to do some hairier stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And it then it kind of got it. a little more vertical. Yeah fell out of that Didn't and hit the ground. Her. It wasn't like boom. Right. Which just, when you wrecked your Altrix, it was like full boom. throttle. It was boom. full throttle into the ground. And it just, a servo horn yeah. barely snapped a little hot glue and it'll be back in the air. Right. This is going to take a lot of work to get back in the air. Yeah. Uh, reasonable, you know, I can do it, but in comparison, that's not great. Uh, man, very disappointed, as you can probably tell in my tone and stuff. I came out on this nice calm day. What perfect conditions to be flying this in too. No wind. I wish I had another airplane. Oh look Nate, the storm the other day. Oh it blew our windsock. Our windsock is finally It's probably gone. in Death Valley. I bet you so. Who would like to come to Death Valley and look for our windsock with us? That sounds like a fun drone adventure we could do in the next. Maybe we'll charge a few drones <laughs> and go look for the windsock. That sounds like fun. <laughs> on a mission. Well I'm really bummed out but I, I I want you guys to know the, the truth and everything. By the way, the uh, had nothing to do with our electrical tape. That's still holding really, really solid. So it was all just that crash and uh, I'm sad. I wish I had another airplane to fly, but that's okay. We got to be outside. We got to have a little bit of fun. And hopefully the main thing is saved you guys some money here. I mean, that's just an awesome performing vehicle, but uh, no durability there. So that's not anything I'd recommend. I'm just going to... Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>